Hello and welcome back to my podcast. On today's episode, I will be talking about how to apply to a medical school in Poland. Now, this is the third episode in my podcast of university application. My first episode uh, is on applying to university in the UK using the UCAS system. Now, this is for the undergrad courses. My second episode is on applying to medical school in the UK. And my third episode, today's episode, will be applying to university in Poland. Now, all these uh, information that I'm about to give you, you can find online as well. But I just thought I'll do like a condensed uh, info uh, from my perspective in the hope that it might be able to help students apply. Now, just a general uh, introduction about myself. I am a current student studying medicine in Poland. I have a natural science degree, a bachelor's in natural sciences from the UK. And I also have a master's in nutrition also from the UK. So in my next few episodes, I will be talking more about what natural sciences is, what kind of careers you can do out of it. And I will also be talking about postgrad study in the UK. So do um, check them out. So on today's episode, uh, as I said, I will be talking about how to apply for medical school in um, Poland. Now, this is a general um, overview, uh, but it's mostly aimed at high school students who are interested in applying to study medicine in English in Europe. Uh, graduates are also welcome to apply to this course, but make sure you email universities of interest to see if they accept graduates. Now, I um, obviously am a graduate, so I knew that the university I applied to um, accepted graduates. I'll talk a bit more about it as I go on um, as to why uh, I was able to get into my course. Um, so in Poland, what you need to know is that there are 15 medical schools that teach medicine in English. Uh, the length of the program is 12 semesters, so six years of full-time study, and it leads to an MD, a doctor of medicine, uh, that's what MD stands for, uh, after you successfully complete it. Now, for those who are coming from high school and don't quite know what the term semester means, a semester just means uh, terms. So if you're from the UK, you when you're at school, you have something like autumn terms, spring term, and summer term, right? So basically, instead of just saying autumn term, we have semester one, and spring and summer term is usually combined to make semester two. So if you have two semesters in one year, and if medicine is 12 semesters long, you have six years of study to do. So Poland used to have the four-year accelerator program, uh, so the four-year graduate into medicine, but these are now cancelled as the Polish government wanted to standardize all of the medical programs. Uh, this was cancelled back in 2021, uh, so around March time, 2021, last day, I got an email saying that all of the graduate entry programs in Poland has been cancelled, so now everyone will be doing the usual six-year course. Now, in a lot of European countries, um, the medical studies are six years. Uh, in the UK, it's five years. Uh, Ireland is as well five years, I believe. And you also have the graduate entry pathways in both the UK and Ireland, that's four years long. Now, America and Canada, I'm aware they only have the four-year programs. Um, I'm not sure that's true. If I'm wrong, please let me know and I could amend this podcast. So as far as I'm aware, most of the European countries um, have six-year programs. So the course itself is five years. And the sixth year, you do like an unpaid internship where you rotate between different specialities so that once you start working uh, you can go uh, straight into a specialty that you really enjoy doing whilst you were at medical school that's the that's the point of the six years that's what i uh, assume is the point of six years i could be wrong again let me know if i'm wrong but on the course curriculum for my university as well as most of the universities i looked at the six years uh, a clinical rotation year and you could neither do it uh, you can do some of the like uh, rotations in a few different countries so you'll be in Poland for some some months and then for the rest of the clinical placements you'll be able to get a chance to do it in uh, other countries as well. Uh, now I know this also applies to UK universities so if we are thinking of applying for um, university in the UK as well as Poland you can um, you can start thinking about like where you want to do clinicals as well that might uh, help with like budgeting. So, um, like I mentioned, the course now is all six years uh, and the cost of these medical programs, they vary and it depends on the school you are in. 
So tuition fees will be charged in euro, in either euros or zloty. That's the local currency. So if you're thinking of coming to Poland, uh, have a look at the tuition fees as well. Uh, depending on the exchange rate, uh, rate brother, sorry, it might be cheaper to study in uh, a university that accepts zlotys as the course fee, as opposed to a, 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 um, a university that might charge in euros. Again, it's up to you um, where you want to go. So I'm going to mention like the 15 universities that offer English, uh, offer medicine in English. Um, I am really apologize. I do apologize about um, the pronunciation. Uh, my Polish is still uh, in working uh, working form, um, but hopefully by the time I leave from here, I will be able to um, say the names a bit better. So I will signpost where I. Um, the universities as well to this uh, podcast, so you can have a look at it. I'll also signpost uh, the link to my website, and if you go on my website, you'll find the links to the universities as well, so you can have a look at the admissions if you want to do from there. So the first university on my list is the Medical University of Bielstock. Um, Bielstock, I think. Sorry, not Bielstock. My bad. And then you have the Medical School uh, Collegium Medicum in Bidgosh. Then you have the Medical University of Gdansk. Uh, fourth is the Medical University of Silesia. Then you have the Jan uh, Kortanowski University. Uh, the sixth on the list is Jagl uh, Jagiellonian University in um, Krakow. Then you have the Andrzej Fritz Modeski Krakow University. Then you have the Medical University of Wuch. You have the Medical University of Lublin. Tenth on the list is University of Wormia and Missouri. Eleventh is the Pomeranian University of Medicine. Twelfth is the Poznan University of Medical Sciences. Number thirteen on my list is University of Rezasov. I think I'm not sure. Fourteenth is the Medical University of Warsaw, and then the fifteenth is Wrocław Medical University. So um, I'm not going to say the names again because my pronunciation is still pretty bad. Uh, but like I said, I have attached the information of the universities to my podcast, so you can have a look. Uh, vice versa, you can also find it on my uh, website as well, or even if you go to medical schools in, the, in Poland, you will reach them. So all of the universities mentioned in the list are included in the World Directory of Medical Schools. Uh, this means that the universities are accredited by medical schools around the world, so that the Sorry, such as the UK General Medical Council and the Medical Council of Canada. So the universities are also included in the Educational Commission for Foreign Medical Graduates, ECFMG, which allows foreign medical graduates to apply for residency, uh, which is also short for internship or foundation year in the United States of America. So Poland currently needs to reapply for the ECFMG in 2024. Um, so if you're going to be graduating after 2024, make sure you sign up for the ECFMG certification soon, uh, especially if you want to apply for step exams. Uh, you will need, I think, the certification in order to apply for the um, step exams. Obviously, if you know you don't, you don't want to study in, in the US, you don't have to sign up, but just um, just be aware that the Poland needs to renew, uh, the medical council in Poland needs to renew the um, ECFMG certification. And as far as some of the um, they still haven't renewed it yet. If obviously, if something happens, I will make another episode on it so everyone's um, so that you know what's happened. So one thing I want to mention to the universities as well: uh, when you're doing the application, you can actually directly apply to the university without going through an agent. Uh, this is a very cost-effective way, and you can avoid any unnecessary hassle. So when I applied, I applied to a lot of the universities that still had. Um, space has left uh, or the, the interview deadline has not passed and um, I just applied directly on, on the websites. All I had to do was fill out uh, the application form and then um, they will let me know when I need to do the entrance test. Now each of the universities in Poland that you had to apply for do do an entrance test in ma uh, in English, uh, sorry, in um, it's in English but you had to do the course, uh, you had to do the test in ma uh, in physics, sorry, not maths, uh, biology and chemistry. There is some maths involved as well, especially in the physics calculations. Uh, 
and you had to uh, in some universities you also had to do like a logical reasoning test uh, alongside the the test in the sciences now some universities um they don't you can bypass the test if you have a really high score on the bmat gmat mcat or ucat so do have a look at those universities as well um if you have like a really really high score you may not be able to do it but you need to check um check with the universities now when you're applying for these university you you'll have to upload everything that you have so far in terms of your educational qualifications so you'll need to apply upload like all your certificates uh, from your school so like your educational certificates so whether that's your uh, educational from the SATs um, A levels um, international baccalaureate uh, things like that so um, if you don't have the results yet you can obviously say that it's pending and hopefully still do the test if it's still pending you can uh, obviously email your uh, email the um, uh, university and ask if you can use like a predicted grades instead uh, and then they will need to look at your certificates i think once you've got in um, so just just confirm it with the university of choice obviously when i applied i already had my degree grades uh, and my high school grades as well so i didn't really have to go through that issue um so it, it wasn't okay it, it was fine for me and then um my some universities also have an interview as well uh now i believe they will ask questions again on biology science and uh chemistry so biology physics and chemistry and they'll ask information on why you want to do medicine what kind of research you've been involved in if you're for a graduate for example um they'll also they won't ask a lot of maths questions uh if they do they'll give you some time um obviously if you're confused what you can do is you can start thinking the answer out loud this is what um this just means that the uh, professors know that uh, you can think logically so um just make sure you stay calm and you think uh, the answers through if you do have to do an interview for the test interview for the uh, university um so just a um, heads up about that um so yeah so do uh, check out when you need to apply for the universities um as far as i'm aware a lot of them will start opening up application cycles soon so for example if you've already applied in the uk um you should have you've applied by now uh, by the time the polish universities start their application tests uh you may have found out if you are getting into uh, uk or not so i would say um even if you got in to the uk still go for application in poland because then you can uh reject the um polish offer if you do get in to the uk if you didn't get into the uk then you have a backup option as well in poland um so just just something to think about um depending on how we want to go go for because graduate entry medicine in, in uh, uk can be really competitive i found it competitive um so that's why i chose to come into poland uh to do the course even though it'll take me six years to complete the course uh it'll still mean that i'm getting a medical degree um so yeah, just things to think of through as well now uh the other things you want to think about is cost of living um now i find i found living in poland a bit affordable compared to um how much i was paying for like rent and stuff in my in undergrad uh, my rent is around 200 pounds per month uh, in the university dormitories um, and my rent in my undergrad university was a bit higher i think it was around i went up to i think 400 pounds per month um for one year that was including like all the utilities so pretty much double uh, i was also living in a bigger city than where i am now in poland so um that made sense why the um cost was a bit high because i was also including like travel cost uh cost so that was the bus bus cost uh as well as utilities and um for my room as well um so do look into that as well like to think um might be a bit more affordable polish in terms of um living cost um for the tuition fees um i would say they're a bit more expensive than the uk tuition fees now a lot of students in my university 
and then other Polish universities as well, uh, universities as well. They are from Canada and America. Now, uh, and for them, the tuition fees are in Poland are a lot more cheaper. So if you're listening to this podcast and you're from um, Canada or um, the States, um, just a heads up that this is a cheaper alternative. Now, the universities won't um, actually help you study for like the step exams um, of the USMLE. So like you, you got to do all your um, prep by yourself. Um, so that's, that's that's another thing to think about. But if you definitely want to save money, because I'm aware that they, these exams, uh, step exams, are pretty expensive, so it might be worth, uh, in, if you want to save money, to come study in um, in Poland. Um, I'm also aware that the loan options from the US are a bit, uh, and Canada are, do let you study in Poland. I don't know if this applies to every single Polish university, uh, but I definitely know that students from Canada who are on my course they have the governmental loan. Um, I've also heard the loan Sally May mention be mentioned a few times from the US students. So again, if you can't take loans to come study here, it might be cheaper to study here. Or if you want to pay off, uh, pay by your own pocket, that that's fine too. It just means that you won't get into much debt, I suppose, um, if you take the loans up. Um, so yeah, so depending on where you are, you can be looking at cost for like um, of living, uh, including like tuition fees, to vary from like eighty to like ninety-five thousand PLN. That's including the dormitory fees, food, tuition fees, um, the um, living, uh, the cost of transport as well. This may seem high. Um, you also might be spending a bit less than that, depending on how much you budget. But this is what I estimated from like the first year of living. So I think my expenses were around 90,000 PLN. Um, that was including the tuition fees, um, the uh, um, food that I ha- had, as well as like dormitory fees and like visa fees as well. Uh, also including like my phone bill um, and like the stuff that I bought from my room as well to make it more homely. So like things like, um, um, like kitchen, stuff and uh, plants and things like that so it came up to a bit more than I would have usually spent. So 90,000 PLN is around 16,000 pounds, 20,000 USD or 19,000 euros. Um, now this is when I, this is the time of like release so um, it may have changed. So again this would uh, vary depending on how um, how uh, which part of Poland you're in and like how effective you are in um, spending, uh, saving your money, so um, it will vary. Um, so yeah, so that's all I have about studying in Poland. Um, now, if you have more information, more questions you want to ask, um, do um, do message me. So I'm uh, my email is couchpotato708 at gmail.com. You can also message me via um, Instagram or Twitter. If you search for that couch, my um, that couch, that medic couch potato rather, sorry, you'll be able to find me. Um, I'll post the links up to my social media on uh, my podcast as well, so you can access it. And I hope you find uh, this informative. Um, and it, it's just like an information to say that, you know, there's options out there. If you're interested in applying, interested in applying for medicine and, um, it, and you could not get into the uh, your country that you wanted to go into, it took me six tries in the UK before I realised, let's look at Poland as well. So I'm, I'm glad to have made that decision. Um, so it's something to think about um, if you're really, really interested in medicine. So yeah, like I said, if you've got any questions, feel free to message me. And um, yeah, that's it. Thank you for listening.